హోటీ వెల్కమ్ టు ఆల్ నాలెడ్జ్ సీకర్స్ టు మై ఛానల్ దిస్ ఈస్ డాక్టర్ మధుసూదన్ రావు కడప ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ అండ్ డిరైవ్ ది కైనమెటిక్ రిలేషన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఏ ఫ్రీలీ ఫ్యాలింగ్ బాడీ వీ హ్యావ్ ద బేసిక్ కైనమెటిక్ రిలేషన్స్ యాస్ వి ఈక్వల్ టు యు ప్లస్ ఏటి ఎస్ ఈక్వల్ టు యుటి ప్లస్ ఆఫ్ ఏటి స్క్వేర్ వి స్క్వేర్ మైనస్ యు స్క్వేర్ ఈక్వల్ టు టూ ఏఎస్ అండ్ ఎస్ఎన్ ఈక్వల్ టు యు ప్లస్ ఏ ఇంటూ ఎన్ మైనస్ వన్ బై టూ సో దీస్ ఆర్ ది బేసిక్ కైనమెటిక్ రిలేషన్స్ విచ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ డిస్కస్డ్ అండ్ డిరైవ్డ్ ఎస్ ఇన్ ది లాస్ట్ వీడియోస్ నవ్ coming to a freely falling body a freely falling body is that which is dropped from some height suppose this is a body which is dropped from some height then its initial velocity u equal to 0 suppose this is the ground level so any body which is dropped from some height will travel vertically downwards and reach the ground suppose before reaching the ground at any instant suppose the body is at this height at some point of time then it has traveled vertically downwards by y and its instantaneous velocity at this point be v1 then we have we can use this first relation to find out the instantaneous velocity and the second relation to find the downward displacement now as the body descends its velocity continuously increases due to the gravitational acceleration g which is positive in downward direction when the body is projected vertically upwards in such case g is taken as negative whereas the body which is falling freely from some height in this case acceleration due to gravity is positive now the instantaneous velocity v1 is equal to u plus gt here u is 0 so it is u 0 plus gt so v1 equal to gt so the value of this velocity depends on the local acceleration due to gravity as well as the time for which the body travels downwards coming to the second relation to find the displacement the downward displacement y we can use this relation ut plus half gt square so as u equal to 0 this term becomes 0 so 0 into t plus half gt square or otherwise y equal to half gt square here the velocity is directly proportional to time and displacement is directly proportional to square of the time we can use the other relation also provided the time t is not given suppose we want to find out the instantaneous velocity v1 when y the displacement vertical displacement is given in such case we can use this relation that is v square or v1 square minus u square equal to 2gy or as u equal to 0 so we will get v1 square equal to 
टू जी वाई और वी वन इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू जी वाई दिस इज अनदर एक्सप्रेशन फॉर वी वन एंड सपोज द बॉडी रीचेस द ग्राउंड आफ्टर सम टाइम जस्ट बिफोर रीचिंग द ग्राउंड बिकॉज इट इज एक्सेलरेटिंग इन द डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन जस्ट बिफोर टचिंग द ग्राउंड इट्स वेलासिटी विल बी मैक्सिम सपोज द वेलासिटी जस्ट बिफोर टचिंग द ग्राउंड इज वी देन वी हैव v equal to here we can use this relation v square minus u square equal to 2g h because h is the height from which the body is dropped vertically downwards so h or v square minus 0 square equal to 2g h or v square equal to 2g h and v equal to root 2g h so this is the expression for velocity of the body just before touching the ground this will be maximum now we have the other relation the displacement in nth second so we can uh, take y n is equal to u plus g into n minus 1 by 2 instead of a we are taking g so these are the relations for a freely falling body and one more expression is left that is for time of descent now in order to find the time of descent first we have to understand the motion of a body which is projected vertically upwards suppose we are projecting a body vertically upwards from the ground level suppose we are projecting a body vertically upwards with some velocity u it will reach some maximum height h and we have derived the expression for the maximum height reached by a vertically projected body in some other video and this h equal to u square by 2g so the maximum height depends on the initial velocity of projection now after reaching this maximum height the final velocity becomes zero now this object which moves vertically upwards and then descends here as it starts from the highest position that is maximum height its initial velocity is zero and uh, just before touching the ground at this point its velocity v is maximum for a same height h we have u equal to v because at the highest position in upward motion v equal to 0 in downward motion u equal to 0 at any height in between also the velocity with which the body is ascending will be the same with which it descends at that particular height so we can take h equal to u square by 2g the same height when it descends down already we have calculated time of ascent as t equal to u by g for a body which is projected vertically upwards ta equal to u by g time of ascent now for the same height from which it is dropped 
downwards. Then the vertical displacement is u square by 2g is equal to ut plus half gt square here the initial velocity in downward direction is 0 so we have u square by 2g is equal to half gt square or we can take td square time of descent then this 2 gets cancelled and we can write td square equal to u square by g square or td the time of descent is equal to u by g that is square root of u square by g square we get u by g so time of descent is also equal to u by g In case of a body which is projected vertically upwards, the time of ascent is the time taken by a body to reach the maximum height from ground level, which is equal to u by g. In the same way, the same body when it descends, the time taken by it to reach from maximum height to the ground level is also equal to u by g. So this is how we can uh, derive the expressions for various parameters like uh, maximum height, the velocity of the body before just reaching the ground, time of descent and so on for a freely falling body. Thank you very much. In some other video I will explain some other kinematic relations. Thank you.